Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Strategic Command World War II. World at war. I wanted to say war in Europe, but that's definitely not what's going on. Let's uh, continue where we left off the previous time, which was, uh, well, just uh, about doing uh, a little bit of a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We're going to prepare for the invasion of the Soviet Union, so that's uh, pretty much where we were at, I think. I'm also preparing for the mm, airborne invasion of Crete. Let's just uh, see where we can get these guys. I think next turn I already want to start attacking the Soviet Union. So I do want to be prepared for that, first of all. Elite upgrades, huh? That's actually pretty good. But let's just do that as well. We have a, a bunch of things to do here. So we have currently no fighters out there. I mean, we do have these. I'm going to send them over to Army Group North. Whereas these will pretty much stay here with uh, these guys. So as for the Italians, because I need to bring a bit of structure in there. I can't repair, or I can actually reinforce these. Okay, that's good. None of the other guys. I have already attacked with most of these, so I can't really do that extra. So the question then becomes, where do I want to leave my units? First of all, I definitely want to get these guys into interception mode. I'm not going to bomb this turn. And just move these closer because I need to get the Africa core over here. I will definitely go and keep that as a flanking position. Let's get these on the transport. And let's just hope it's safe. I would guess it is. I'm also going to set these to manual. So next turn I'm going to take care of that as well. And then let's get the artillery in there. Pretty much the last thing that I'm going to transport is the anti-tank gun. I, I really don't need it there. So let's take a look at the partisan situation. Oh. Not to do that too fast because we really took care of these three things over here, and there are. Yeah, we could, there don't seem to be any other areas where partisans really spawn. I mean, we've taken care of it in France, so there's not really a whole lot we need to do there, but you know, in the other areas we do. Either way, let's continue. These guys need to be operated, and I would like to have them over and the center is pretty full I mean I can't really get them down here that's pretty much impossible so I guess having them in the center huh? having them in the north would be okay so I'll take these guys with me on the under the von Leap HQ on the next turn probably for the best Italians just going to gather around Krakow, but they don't need that much time. So I'm not too worried there. I can take it easy. Mostly they're going to behave like uh, anti-garrison units or anti-partisan units. Let's see, because I kind of would like to operate these. Let's just see. First of all, you've deta attached everything that kind of needs to be attached here. Except for these. I kind of just need to get them up there. And that means I don't really need that last HQ for now. So I'll just move it slowly. If I need to operate it, I will, but that's definitely not a priority with the low amount of points that I have. 
each turn. Let's send you over to the center. And that's pretty much it. I think even most of the preparations are already done. These guys are just generally moving. And same applies for the Italians. So I think we're good there. Taking care of Africa as well. The only thing that I need to do is spend the rest of the German points. I'm going to spend them upgrading at the very least my units. I really want them to be at two infantry weapons and maximum mobility for the moment because the, the destruction of the enemy units is really what's most important. Even so over having a bunch of units because you might have uh, a whole lot of units but if they all can't really do damage or only do zero damage then it's pretty much useless to have all of them around simply because they just uh, can't go to town on the enemy and that's actually what you need let's see if we can still do this yeah all right great i mean i would need to repair that but Ah, they're stuck now. That's actually going to be a problem. And because the enemy is probably going to pounce on that now. We'll see. I have a bunch of ships around here, so... I'm gonna put them behind this guy. And I'll see whether... I might be able to destroy one of the enemy ships. I'm pretty sure they're gonna pound on this, but... Not a whole lot we can do right now. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough, game. Mm, they were ran. <laughs> they were actually there, huh? Well, that's tough luck. Okay. Well, let's take care of these guys. I think, though, that they're pretty much fine. I can't really attack this, so... They're just going to remain stationary for now until I can do a little bit better. Which means taking Egypt. Then down here. Like I was saying, I'm going to ship some forces over to take over Thailand as well. I think we've taken care of everything for the Japanese already. It does seem like I've actually indeed taken care of everything. These guys can't really do a whole lot, so that's all okay. Got my naval ships all out there. Can't give them elites. Except for the carriers, but... Let's get you a bit closer. There we are. These will remain stationary. I've also taken care of most of the MPP. Only the Italians still have some MPP to spend. And I'm... Kind of taking a look here. Let's just put it into industrial technology in order to gain more MPP in the long run for the Italians. So let's ship it back to the enemy we've taken care of, the submarines, things like that. And we'll see what next turn will bring us. Let's just uh, zoom in a little bit as well. Not much interesting, uh, not, or not many interesting things to say there. Just uh, no events, at least for the Axis, during this round. And we'll see how that goes for the Allies. I think we're quite close to taking Cheng Chao. They might even repair back to 10, but then again, their morale must be pretty low from all the damage that we've done so far, and we can send more forces to take Cheng Chao. So I think we're pretty good down there, also down here in Chungking. I think we're pretty close to taking him. Come on, dive. Not yet. It seems like we're pretty unlucky here. Especially given the enemy dive two times out of two, and we're pretty much just striking a th zero out of three. But oh well. Wonder if the Chinese get more units once again. Alright, that's fine. Now with the Africa Corps, I do expect to at least destroy one unit every turn in Africa in order to start 
really gaining some ground there. Uh, hopefully getting to Alexandria and Cairo, you know, within the year. I'm a bit afraid that with the creation of Vichy France, the Americans are quite eager to do a landing there. Either way, Greenland becomes a U.S. protectorate. So that's turning green. Quite nasty, if you ask me. No other events. Um, at least not on our, that are also relevant to us. So that's pretty much it for that turn. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Army Group North already has tanks. And there's one down here and one here. I want to have a second tank for the Army Group Center. Then the Italians... It's actually good that they have garrisons as well. Definitely want to place one on Rome. I'm going to place another garrison over here because I want it to go into Russia. Okay, let's deploy those Japanese forces as well. Flotilla tactical bombers, huh? And a light cruiser. There's a port up here. All right, let's see what we can do. First of all, let's take a look at those partisans. So nothing really going on over here. As far as the HQs are concerned, I do want to make sure that we're all right. I guess they can only take five. But then I'd rather have the armies at oh, let's rewind that. I'd rather have the armies attached because they are much better at dealing damage. So let's take a look here. I would have expected that to be the best attack. But I still think I got this. Should be able to get a unit in there. Just not you. Really would have liked destroying this unit, but I don't think it's in the cards. No. So let's just take the industrial center here. And I think I can get away with just having a core in that particular place. Although, to keep attacking, it's not unuseful. So I'll keep it stationary. Maybe I can send this army back down in order to destroy that core. That'd be pretty good. And we're, we're marching on CN next, so we're, uh, yeah, that, that's, that's going pretty well. Then up here, there's no way I'm going to take that already this turn. And I don't see myself actually getting anywhere quickly. I'll start by going for the transports down here. And I want to send a second army in here. So I, I will have at least two armies going over to this location. I'll probably take Bangkok first and then deploy these armies here and here to cut off the enemy. If I want to advance into Burma, I pretty much have to go through Rangoon so there's only one way to go in there this is on nasty terrain with jungle and hills so the supplies here are going to be quite poor uh, so I do expect to have to go through Rangoon and then up towards these oil fields up here and then also pretty much up there but that's going to take some time and for the moment I'm going to prepare units not only for an invasion of Hawaii, which I think will be fairly useful, taking that supply base from the Americans, but also for the Philippines. So there are a bunch of areas where I want the Japanese to go. And I really would like to have them advance into Russia too, but I just don't think we have the manpower for that at the moment. So that that is quite the challenge. How much supply do you have? 
I'm actually going to detach the core because I really want them to mostly have the armies attached. And I, yeah. And that's these. So these guys will have this attached. And I have to take another close look. Attach you, you, and... You for the moment. Maybe that does improve the situation for this unit. Maybe I can uh, do something there, but... Hmm. None of my units can go up, so that, that is also a bit of a shame. I actually start attacking like this because I would rather... Hmm. Yeah, they also can no longer get out anymore. Okay, good, good. But these guys cannot really move. So once again... Okay, so now they can go here. I'll attack this. Destroy those guys. And... Pretty much start attacking Chung King. Excellent. I need to start lowering their entrenchments if I want to succeed. There are five entrenchments, so I'm not going to be able to take this now, but I'm going to have to attack at some point. And they're already down to five, so at least uh, that progress is going pretty well. Actually, already almost got them on their knees, so... I expect to be able to take that on the next turn. At least I, I do hope so. Hmm. It's a shame those guys can't go in there. Seems unlikely. Yeah. Alright, well, we tried. I can still reinforce and upgrade these guys, so that's also going to take some time. Anyhow, that's what I'll just do for now. And I need to take a look though, because are there partisans in here? No, but I might want to have some garrisons there in the future. Either way, that does take care of Japan for now, once again. I will invade Bangkok on the next turn, but I can't really move this turn regardless. So. Not too useful to try and do that now. All those units are deployed, so we'll only have to take care of the MPP for Japan. Let's take a look at the research. And we can do a bunch more research. Let's go for industrial technology, because that increases the amount of MPP that I get. And then afterwards, I guess I'm going to go for amph amphibious warfare. Also, because I guess it's... They're going to do a lot of amphibious landings and such, so I guess that's okay. Anyway, that once again takes care of Japan. Let's take a look here at the Africa core. First of all, let's make sure that we attach all the proper units. thought that we... Well, it would make sense that we would have some infantry going. Actually, there was an infantry right there. Which I think, in hindsight, I probably should have shifted over to Africa. And uh, don't exactly remember what that was. That probably was the 30th. Now that I'm thinking about, <laughs> about it. There's no army here with that name. Or, yeah, here we are. Uh... <laughs> Yep, all right. Well, that was a, a big mistake. Let's let's get them to Dancy. Operate them back and then get them to Africa. Because that was a huge disaster. Can't believe I did that. All right, well. We all make mistakes. So, I guess that happened. I 
Okay, attach those guys. So, um, it's April 11th. There's a lot of snow. I'm not going to attack this turn yet. Most likely it's going to be next turn. I'm going to wait everything. I guess these guys didn't get attacked, so I'm fairly happy about that. Although maybe having a naval engagement isn't even that, that bad of an idea. Either way, there will be at least one Panzer unit from Group South. I guess they didn't get to deploy all the way over here, but I guess they're still close enough. So that's it for the Italians. I already deployed those guys. Let's move you up. And... Ah, these guys aren't preparing. All right, let's do that, and they should be able to get all the way there. At least that's my guess. Either way, let's set you to escort and start. Let's see. Okay. Start going after the core. <laughs> wow, okay. That's rather pathetic. But we did two damage. So the real question now becomes where am I going to place the tags? I think all the way down here. And not too happy about that, but let's attack here. There might be an opportunity still. Don't care too much about the defensive artillery. I wish these guys would stop moving all the time. But I still destroyed that core. Or, yeah, exactly. Now. I need a unit in here, so I am inclined to at least move that unit there. And they might not be able to repair the LRDG special forces. So next turn, I might be able to destroy these two units and capture the Oasis. And then we'll see how we're going to fare up in the north. I'll actually remain stationary like this with my units while putting these into Brook. I will have to move down a little bit here. reinforce you and not these guys all right there we are that's fine I think we did okay in Africa no real crazy things going on there partisans are in place or the uh, garrison units are in place then definitely sending these guys down to Syracuse and I'll have one in Rome soon now that I did move all those core I got me thinking about actually having an army no okay no, never mind Let's uh, take care of the upgrades for Germany once again. So let's continue with where we left off. These guys will also upgrade. I already got advanced tanks level 1, but I still want to have them being a bit more mobile. And let's upgrade that. Nothing over here. It's all 2 and 1, which is all fine. Not upgrading the town for sure. And only once all of my units have been upgraded, I will start looking at things like research and other stuff again. Because for now, I just want to completely focus upon the invasion of the Soviet Union. 
and pretty much nothing else. I'll purchase a garrison. But that's pretty much it. Italians will also purchase another garrison. Again, I'm doing that for the huge amount of garrisons that we need in Russia. If we take a look... Oh, we can't see that yet. Okay, we're not at war. It's fine. Mm. Okay. Try to send these guys back. I have no MPP to repair the submarines that I have. Italian's going to save up the rest of that MPP as well. So I guess at that point we can actually end the turn already once again. Things are going pretty quickly because there's just not that much that's going on right now. So I think it's fair to say that we can just uh, speed things up here. Chinese morale suffers from the loss of Cheng Chao. It's fine. And survivors from Cheng Chao reformed our units in Xi'an. Okay. And in Chongqing. So they get an entire army from that. Apparently. USSR signs non-aggression pact with Japan. Good for them. Oh, infantry weapons of a one for Italians. That's really good, actually. That means that they finally can start dishing out some real damage. Definitely a great boon to the war effort. Means that we got another army to destroy over here. Unfortunately, I'm a bit surprised at that, but... Okay, they're retreating all the way. It's fine. So they get free units with the cities that we take such as the industrial centers that's pretty interesting that just delays the inevitable though i th i think that we're pretty established in in china here so hmm. yeah these air attacks are actually going to hurt probably quite a bit Luckily, no damage so far. Or there, that's good. Okay, one damage to the army. Really? Two damage from the anti tank cannon? Ugh. So that, ar that Italian army definitely needs repairing, but we will be able to do something about that. And again, not much going on. We might actually be able to take Chongqing on the next turn and cut off all of these horses there. The <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. Ethiopia is liberated as Hayya Selassie returns to Addis Ababa. Okay, fair enough. We're still out there. And I'm not leaving, that's for sure. I don't want to give up Eastern Africa at all, but we just need to remain in that defensive position there. Okay. A lot of units to deploy. That's a lot of special forces. And also a submarine. All right, we'll, we'll take care of all of those forces soon. Let's just see what we can do here first. Need to lower those entrenchments. Despite the damage that it cost me, they're down to two. Because it's paramount that I take that city. I wonder if I can get in. But it doesn't seem to be the case, so I... <laughs> 
Despite destroying the unit on the city, I actually can't take it. Well, that's quite lovely. Hmm. But... Nope, there's pretty much nothing I can do about that. Maybe on the next turn. Gonna upgrade them to infantry up to level 2. And these guys are gonna get out of there. I guess. Moving like that again is fine. I was looking to take that part of the road as well. Hmm. Also not able to move in there, but that's le uh, less concerning. Only 0 and 1, huh? No, reinforcing like that also is not really what I'm looking for. Going to 10 definitely is, though. So, whenever I get the chance. I definitely will. Uh, it was worth a shot, but I'll move closer. Seems like they have some communist units there as well. But, yeah, these forces are in danger of being cut off. I can not... Okay, their supply is actually still pretty good. I guess that's because Chungking isn't taken yet. And I know I can't move through here, but I'll put these units in that place regardless. So, let's give you elites. Excellent. All right. That's that. Then I'm going to declare war on Thailand with the Japanese this time. Yes. All right. I can almost get in there, but not quite. Guess we'll do that next turn. That's okay, though. Let's go back to Africa. I'm not really interested in using the Panzers here already. So I'll just try to use the Recon and just get back a bit. Using the Italian tanks didn't solve the issue. But maybe... I can use the army here. Okay. Let's move up the tanks. Because I can destroy the desert fighters. Despite being right next to the anti-tank gun, I think that's an excellent, excellent decision. Simply because those fighters are very valuable, very dangerous. And uh, yeah, I don't want anything to do with that. So that destroys that. That's perfect. Let's see if I can land here. Hmm. Seriously? <laughs> uh, that's great. All right, let's get closer. Sure, whatever. So, I guess they couldn't reach that far. Yeah. Some things are not going great for me. Not that the war is going bad, but it's just some game mechanics that are not exactly working out the way I'm hoping they are. Let's attach all of that. And maybe even this, yeah. I'm a bit afraid of this army attacking this, but then I have the potential to destroy it later on. So at the very least, destroy two units there. They have a lot of defenses, so we know that they have some engineers working on these fortifications here. There's not a whole lot we can do about that. 
The only thing we can do is take this oasis and then try to destroy as many units over here until we can get to Alexandria. That's pretty much all we can do. And let's declare war on the Soviet Union. And I think with Germany at least, the USSR, it's May the 9th and I think we're ready. Let's do it. And I think that what I'm also going to do is I'm going to leave the game on that note. So I'm going to leave that as a cliffhanger just to see how that war is going to go. So I guess the communists increased their influence in Chile. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, but yeah, we're at war with the Soviet Union. Seems like I have a bunch of troops at the front and we're going to have to deal with this. So I'm going to see how that's going to turn out in the next episode. For now, I want to thank you all for watching. A lot has happened so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I will see you all in the next episode. So take care and see you there.